There are three different types of footwork to the backcourt. We had the offensive backcourt footwork, we had the defensive backcourt footwork, and we had the side jump. In the offensive backcourt footwork, we need to focus on both the backhand side and the forehand side. On the backhand side, you will likely start in the middle of the court with a preload jump. After a preload jump, you will push with your dominant leg, pivoting on your opposite leg so that your shoulder is facing the net. Before you land on your dominant leg, hop on your opposite leg, sliding your opposite foot, pushing you further into the backhand corner. This allows you to move to the backhand corner in one swift movement. As you land, your dominant foot should be facing slightly outwards and should carry most of your weight. You should use your opposite leg for balance. In this position, push upwards with your dominant leg into a scissor kick that rotates your body so that your dominant foot is now pointing towards the middle of the court and your opposite leg is now point with your opposite foot pointing slightly outwards. It's important that your opposite foot is not pointing directly towards the net as this puts a lot of strain on your Achilles tendon. In this position, you should have most of your weight on your opposite leg using your dominant leg for balance. It's important that you lean slightly forward as it prevents you from falling backwards. Moving back towards the middle of the court, you can choose to use either one step before you reload jump or you can take two steps before you preload the jump. You would like to use one step and a preload jump if you've hit the fastest shot that requires you to recover faster, or you can use two steps and a preload jump if you have hit a slower shot that gives you more time to recover. On the forehand side, would also start from the middle of the court with a preload jump. After your preload jump, you will take a large chassis that brings you to the back of the court. Notice that while you're taking your chassis, you will also rotate your body so that your opposite shoulder is facing the net and your dominant leg is beneath your body with your dominant foot pointing slightly outwards. In this position, most of your weight should be on your dominant leg using your opposite leg for balance. In this position, you should push upwards with your dominant leg into a scissor kick that rotates your body so that the dominant foot is now pointing towards the middle of the court and your opposite leg is behind with your back foot pointing slightly out of the court. Again, it's important that your back foot is not pointing directly to the net as this puts a lot of strain on your Achilles tendon and in this position, you should have most of your weight on the back foot, using the front foot for balance. Also, it's important 
that you lean your body slightly forward, which prevents you from falling backwards. Moving back towards the middle of the court, you can either take one step before you preload jump, or you can take two steps before you preload jump. The side jump is the footwork you would use with your opponent. It's a shot that is too flat, giving you a chance to cut it off. In the side jump footwork, we need to focus on both the backhand side and the forehand side. On the backhand side, you will start from the middle of the court with a preload jump. After your preload jump, take a small hop so that your body is rotated so that your shoulder is pointing towards the corner. Then lean your weight onto your back foot, jumping upwards towards the back uh, corner, on which you also land on the back foot. Your foot should be pointing slightly outwards, and it's important that it doesn't point directly to the net, as this puts a lot of strain on your Achilles tendon. In this position, you should have nearly all your weight on your back foot, using the front foot for balance. Moving back towards the middle of the court, you will push with the back foot, taking a small step with your front foot, moving directly into the next preload jump. On the forehand side, you would also start in the middle of the court with a preload jump. After your preload jump, quickly hop, rotating your body so that your dominant shoulder is now pointing towards the corner. Lean your weight onto the back foot, jumping upwards towards the back corner, also landing on your back foot with your foot pointing slightly outwards. Again, it's important that you don't land with your foot pointing directly to the net, as this puts a lot of strain on your Achilles tendon. And in this position, you will have nearly all your weight on your back foot, using the front foot for balance. Moving back towards the middle of the court, you will push with your back foot, take a small step with your front foot, moving directly into your next preload jump.